Hello, this is a demonstration video of the Kotrako Porter tank working on a 42 litre FM200 cylinder. The size of this FM200 cylinder is about 32 centimeters in diameter. For cylinders of this size, it is recommended to use the 1 MHz frequency. Please start with the lowest hold off time and lowest gain settings. To begin the measurement, ensure your sensor is connected to the BNC. Please turn the unit on and ensure a layer of ultrasound gel is applied to the cylinder. Then, start with position 1, which is a position above the liquid level. If you do not know where the liquid level is on your cylinder, it is recommended to start as high as possible for position 1 to ensure it is indeed above the level. I will now place my sensor on position 1. When the sensor is placed firmly on position 1, the LED level indicator should be off. If it is on, please increase the hold of time until this is off. At position 1, you are supposed to be above the level, so the level indicator should not be on. I'm increasing it from 0 0.5 milliseconds to 1.5 milliseconds. Carefully move the sensor around position 1, ensuring that the LED level indicator remains off. If it comes on at any point, please increase the hold of time. Now, move the sensor to position 2. Position 2 is positioned below the liquid level. If you do not know where your liquid level is, please ensure that your sensor is placed as low as possible in your cylinder to ensure that position 2 is indeed below the level. I will now place my sensor on position 2. At position 2, because you are below the level, you must ensure that your level indicator is on. If it is off or if it flickers, feel free to increase the gain until it is on permanently. Whenever you increase the gain, please ensure you go back to position 1 to ensure that the LED level indicator is still off. If it is on, you have to increase the hold off time until it's off. Now, at position 2, you must ensure that the LED level indicator is on permanently. In my case, there is no need to increase the gain because the LED level indicator at position 2 is already permanently on. Then you can begin to find the liquid level by moving the sensor up in steps while observing the LED indicator. As you are in the liquid phase, the LED should be on permanently all the way until you reach the liquid level. Past the liquid level, your LED will be on permanently to be off. This is because you pass from the liquid phase to the gas phase. As I am moving the sensor up, you can see that the LED was on and now it is off. Once it is off, move it up slightly again to confirm it's off. If it is so, move the sensor back down until the sensor is on again. This means that you have moved from the liquid to the gas phase and then the gas back to the liquid phase. I'm moving the sensor down. Now it is on permanently, I'm going to move it up slightly. Still on permanently, up slightly, now it is off. And if it flickers, this is your liquid level because you're at the boundary. If you go up slightly, it will be off. If you go down slightly, it will be on. So the position at the midline of the sensor is your liquid level when you've encountered this boundary. Thank you very much.